All right, guys, uh, we're going to skip the intros and hop right into it. Sorry, we uh, had a bit of a delay there. So you'll notice it is, once again, a solo cast with Rifkin, and maybe you're like, I want my money back. This is what I'm paying for, and I'm sorry for this. Uh, sadly, the Zombie Grub's uh, client is providing a lot of issues lately. And uh, I guess to quickly describe, in case anyone's had experience with this themselves, do you want to just say what's going on so maybe someone in chat can help you out? Oh, uh, okay. Well, uh, basically... Bad on it actually kicks me off. It just his connection lost and literally kicks me out of StarCraft 2 back to the login screen. And only restarting it completely will fix it. Yeah, it's not like she's lagging because uh, if either of us lag, you can definitely feel it on Skype. You know, one time someone goes through a body or whatever, but uh, she's just getting straight up dropped, which sucks. So. Well, guys, we're going to hop into the game. Hopefully, uh, if any of you have suggestions or if you've had experience with this yourselves, you can help Zombie Grub, tweet at her uh, at ZG Gaming, and, uh, or say something in Twitch chat, and hopefully we can get this problem resolved. But before we do these intros, big shout-out and thank you to Insane132 for coming back for that sub. But spawning the top right side of Catalina, it's Samsung Galaxy Solar. And on the left side of the map, it's going to be Dead Pixels, Purple Zerg player, True, who has opted for a pool first, whereas Solar has gone hatch first. I guess, uh, I don't know. Not, nothing too crazy. I really, for that last game, I mean, Solar got crushed at the end. Like, it wasn't even close. When you've got double the roaches and one upgrade in armor and one upgrade in weapons above your opponent, you're going to have a good time. I think it was actually pretty important that True didn't sit back and wait to max out to 200 out of 200. Because if that had been the case, Solar not only would have had a better chance to fight, but I think he would have actually caught up to this situation. Uh, you know, again, with that drone lead, he would have had more roaches, a bigger bank, better chance the longer that game went on. So cutting, uh, cutting him off before you got too far in, this is a good move out of True. But ah, still, when, when games start off with anything outside of the normal, like if you don't get to play passively, if there's a little bit of... Uh, back and forth, whether it's a couple of banelings and 10 zerglings or 20 zerglings, as long as it's done all in, you'll probably see that nice transition out of it. The, that's what makes these the best players when it comes to ZVZ. They're able to transition, not tunnel vision, and get stuck on banelings and zerglings while your opponent's clearly got mutalisks coming out. I mean, that's the worst feeling in the world. Catalina's a pretty good map for mutalisks, and I gotta tell you, if, if we had like someone like Impact in here, or <laughs> you go even further, someone like Suppy, you would definitely expect to see something like mutalisks, but for the most part, I'm expecting Roaches again, given the opportunity, uh, and given the fact that maybe there's not too much damage taken in the early game. But that's uh, that's always a big maybe, because as good as these guys are, it doesn't take much to slip up against somebody that's that good at the game. But uh, natural base for True is finally down. Not really far behind. It's, uh, again, the whole hatch first first and pool first dynamic, I think it was more of a Wings of Liberty thing than it is in Heart of the Swarm. So much over the last like four years of StarCraft has changed, especially with the dynamic of ways uh, folks react to one another and recognizing how to recover from situations. So I'm really not too worried about this being the opener leading into this. But the question, of course, comes from the fact that a very interesting gas was taken for Solar. He takes his first gas at the natural, while True starts putting his gases down now. Uh, the gasless opener, not nearly as common as it once was, but still very good. It gives you the extra queen to play with. A uh, spine crawler if things get desperate, but uh, yeah, now getting his gases down, we'll see where he decides to take it. Two gases for now is nothing too crazy. It's going to help him play catch up, but it's of course, uh, if he goes for that faster layer in the third gas, the fourth gas, we start looking at possibly mutas. Uh, not exactly rushing out for a third, and I can't blame these guys yet. It's a little bit early. Comfort on the six minute mark. We do have a Roach Horn coming out of uh, Solar. These lean scouts will be shut down. How much do they see? Actually, they saw both gases at some point anyway, so he knows his opponents on two gases. Yeah, the lair plus the roach just coming out of solar is going to give him that speed advantage again. He's got this really nice sort of choke set up at his main. Uh, it's kind of interesting because I know solar is still participating in GSL, and of course there's Pro League on the side and all these things. I always kind of wonder, like, with a lot of these matches, like, in the Elima League, how much are you willing to show? How much do you want to give away for what is possibly a couple of bucks, so to speak? And, uh, we might see Solar play the same way all three, all five games, depending on how far this goes, depending on what he does or doesn't want to reveal. I know that he had actually messaged me about our next tournament saying, um, he really wants to play, but he might not because at the end of the month he's got his GSL, uh, matches and doesn't want to give too much away. So, just going to keep that in the back of our minds as the uh, series can continues. But, uh, third base from both players, matching each other in timing pretty nicely. Looks like that Overlord will barely get away, but, uh, well... 
well, Solar's starting to move to his roaches, and he's got speed and all these other wonderful things like plus one on the way. True's still on Zerglings. True's making a Banling Nest. True is setting up for this big Ling all in that is just going to have the grossest surprise effect. I mean, last game, Solar did get a lot of roaches caught off guard early. You know, three caught off into the third. Kind of had a hard time fighting around there as well. I don't know if that's going to be the same case, because there's this really nice choke set up here in the natural, and that third base could still be cancelled, whereas last time it was a matter of do or die. And uh, we'll just see how much this gets done. So don't forget, Banelings could also bust through if this is necessary, but the Roach has been out of the wall! I don't know why that happened! Oh my god, all the lanes get through to the main again, on top of the Queens right away, connecting to, well, the one of the natural might... Nah, it's still going to go down. Uh, the one in the main goes down pretty darn quick, though, and more lings flooding on in. A couple of Banelings going to find their way in. The Roaches focus them down, though, uh, trying to get a surround on that last remaining Queen. Not quite going to happen. Uh, True does sneak off some Banelings on both sides of the base, or some Zerglings, rather, to turn into Banelings, but neither quite get done. Uh, they do get found right away. Third base gets a little bit of damage, but, you know, Solar takes zero worker losses through this attack, which should have been a lot more damage. Turns out to be fairly mediocre. And with the Roach Count being as insane as it is, quite frankly, I'm, I'm really worried for True now. Uh, unless True throws down a bunch of Spines, I really don't know if he can fight this. Even at a Defender's Advantage, I, it's 22 Roaches to zero. <laughs> this Roach War's not even done yet. He's only got Lings to fight with. Uh, maybe he maybe he gets Solar to come back home with a Ling attack. Maybe this counter attack's enough to drive Solar to say, Ah, I don't want to give up this attack. I don't know what's waiting for me on the other side of the map. But True just doesn't have enough of anything. Uh, there's more Lings, 36 Lings. That's a great amount of Lings, but numbers don't mean jack squat if it's just Lings versus Roaches. A couple of the Queens get involved with the fight. It looks like these other ones are going to come back home. He'll go for this full surround. He's going to try to fight this out best he can. Oh, the misclick is Lings rallying in the middle of nothing while the rest of the Lings die. Drones are pulled into the fight, but Solar... Solars has got such a powerful attack that has not been stopped. The Queens are dead, the Lings are gone, and that's it for game two. GG, Solar will take the game, evening up the series now 1-1.